exhibition was really difficult to book when it opened a month or so ago because it was still the summer holidays and families would just swarm into the system and take all the openings because there isn't exactly much to do during COVID. exhibition was segregated into multiple sections from how the characters were modeled in the Pixar movies to showcasing the sculpted clay models for the different movies. And there were tons and tons of them, some dating back to like two decades ago such as A Bug's Life, Toy Story 1, all the way to the more recent ones such as Up and Monsters University. I was there primarily to check out the models and scalps as well as taking pictures with the big scalps so I still had a great time nonetheless. of stuff to do as you can see I was playing around with Jesse's face and this is how it ended. One eternity later. Oh well, of course you can do it like a normal person and make a normal face for her. Other areas tells you more in depth of how they plan the object distances, implementing objects into scene, testing the different characters to seek attributes, and animating with frames. I never knew that one frame would take as long as 90 hours to render, so hats off to all the animators out there. <laughs> Last but not least, there were lighting areas as well. I 
lunch was long overdue, so we went to this ramen place nearby for some yutsu salt ramen. Well, I ordered the tsukemen with fried chicken, and the chicken was actually really good, and there was a gigantic piece of pork in the tsukemen, so that took care of the stomach for the time being. Then we headed back to the hotel and checked in. Howdy! Pretty small, pretty tiny, and shit, there ain't any bathtubs. What? So let's take a look at the room itself. It's okay, so there's the bed, the harbour view bedroom. It looks absolutely terrific, as you can see here. Yeah, it's pretty damn nice. So your sofa, telly. We went back to the hotel late, so the dinner schedule was closer than anticipated. The view was stunning and it really made the night even better. To start the evening off, we ordered some cocktails. I had the tropical coconut cocktail and it was so rich in flavor that I wanted a second one. Complementing the drinks, there were these crackers and it came with three different dips. Spicy, super spicy and sweet. And they were all great in defining the different flavors and tingle that sensation for dinner. As mains, we ordered the salmon Wagyu beef cheek curry and the naan was so, so good. It was crunchy on the edge and the texture went well with the curry. For the Wagyu beef itself, the meat was so tender and it's actually one of the best cheeks I've had. The meat was juicy and succulent, I just want to have this for breakfast and lunch as well. We also ordered the free range chicken and the meat was cooked to perfection. Not undercooked, but just cooked enough so the juice is retained as well as being very succulent in the meat texture. sauce was the soy sauce deviant and it brought the freshness of Asian cuisine to the taste buds. Morning everyone, Toyo back here again. Morning, morning, morning. And yes, I'm freaking sleepy. So it is now 8 a.m. in the morning. I haven't had any breakfast yet. And I'm just gonna pop there because they are going to cancel the reservation in 10 minutes. Ha! Welcome to the Infinity Pool. The view is absolutely stunning. Let's have a look. Although this pool was tiny compared to the other infinity pools out there, but given the weather was great and I just had a fantastic time during my stay. Please remember to like the like button and subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this vlogs, Demon Slayer, Hot Toys, Marvel, stuff that I like, etc. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and bye now.